Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael, and today I'm going to show you some tech that you didn't know even existed. So this is my routine every time I go out my Jeep. Jump in the seat, grab my phone out my pocket, put the phone in the holder, and plug in lightning cable so I can get access to Apple CarPlay. This seemed like the only option until very recently. So I bought my Jeep back in December 2021. So it's the late model 2021 Jeep Rubicon. And it was the, the best model that I could find at the time. Had every option apart from the automatic cruise control. Uh, which just wasn't available because of the chip shortage. So I, I paid about $72,000 uh, for it, Canadian. So it's, it's, it's a pricey, uh, pricey vehicle. And I expected it to have everything that I wanted. I know it's a Jeep and it's not a Lexus or a Mercedes, but you're getting into that ballpark for kind of pricing. I could have bought a kind of a cheaper Mercedes for probably the same type of money to be honest uh, but you can't take a Mercedes off-roading so you a lot of the money that goes into this particular vehicle is in the suspension um, gearbox etc tires however I was disappointed with the tech I did opt for the 8.4 inch screen so it's a nice screen that I have in here it's probably the size of an iPad mini somewhere around there but it really doesn't do much. And the Apple CarPlay, you know, it's good. I like, I like having that. It gives me access to lots of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that I can't access with it. And because I spend a lot of time in the Jeep when I'm camping and such, it seemed a shame not to be able to use the screen fully. You know, I'd like to be able to sit in a nice comfy seat in the front, and watch some YouTube out of the cold, and I couldn't really do that. So a company actually reached out to me and said take a look at this we've been watching your jeep videos and this is a really good upgrade for a vehicle like yours so i said yeah i'll take a look at it it's a little bit outside of my wheelhouse for my channel really because it's more of an outdoor channel but i think it does play into it somewhat because of the jeep and i've actually had a career in technology for the last 25 years so i'm very tech savvy i can understand the majority of things and I thought, yeah, okay, let's take a look. So I can hear you all saying, come on, Michael, get to the point. What is it that you've actually got there? This is a small box powered by Android that allows you to broadcast CarPlay wirelessly. So I no longer have to plug in my phone every time. I can just keep my phone in my pocket, press one button once it's booted up, and I've got the full CarPlay experience. And that's only one aspect of what this device actually does. So I literally plugged it in, the thing booted up. It was a simple task to connect my phone across using CarPlay and popped on the screen. It was that simple. It took me less than a couple of minutes to get it up and running. So it plugs into a USB type C in the front of the Jeep, but I can plug it into this internal USB type C as well. That I can plug it into so it's out of the way. And it's been a bit of a game changer for me. On short journeys where I don't need to charge my phone, but I still want to have my music in the Jeep, just keep the phone in my pocket, automatically connects, and away I go. It's been a major upgrade, and it's addressed one of the major disappointments I've had with the Jeep, is why isn't the tech inside it a little bit better? Like, it, it's not a huge leap to have wireless Apple CarPlay or the Android version. Um, but this box does it for what I think is a reasonable amount of money. So besides being able to transmit your Apple CarPlay wirelessly, there's also a fully fledged Android operating system underneath the hood. And just like any other Android operating system, you have full access to the Google Play Store. That allows you then to install any app that's available there. And when connected to the internet via a tethered connection via your cell phone or the 4G built-in modem or even an available Wi-Fi connection, you can browse the internet, watch YouTube, download videos, 
Netflix, all the usual stuff. To use the 4G built-in modem, you will need to have a SIM card that's got data access. And if you want to use it as completely standalone, there is an SD card slot where you can load up all your movies and just pop that in and watch them at your leisure. I'm still thinking of great ways that I can leverage this box to actually do some of the really interesting things with my Jeep. I do have access to an app called Talks, which is an ODB type application, which reads directly from the Jeep via the ODB port. And you can actually connect to this via Bluetooth, which I have a little dongle. So I can display all sorts of interesting information about the Jeep on a custom screen that runs right here in the middle of my dash. Um, but so far I've really enjoyed it. I use it mostly for watching YouTube or listening to YouTube uh, on the screen when I've been out camping. And you know what, it's been great just to have that bigger screen. And the added benefit is I have the full sound system with the subwoofer in this particular Jeep. So I've got full, nice surround sound. I'm not listening to it on a, you know, my iPhone speaker or whatever on a little screen. I mean, like a much bigger screen. I've got all the sounds in the Jeep and it's, uh, it's lovely. And I've got heated seats so I can sit back and relax and I can even read my emails. I can go online, use Chrome. So in summary, I think this is a really good piece of tech for someone that wants to upgrade their vehicle to make wireless CarPlay work or the Android car system. But just underneath that, if you want an Android device that can do all the things that a regular Android phone can do, for instance, but have it displayed on your car screen, maybe you've got a bigger screen in your vehicle than an 8.4 in my Jeep. Uh, it does work with my wife's car as well, and I've tried that out, and you just literally pick it up, plug it in her car, and it works. Uh, there is a list on their website if you want to see if your car's compatible. It has to have certain technology before you can make it work so there is some requirements but you can check that out on their website but i'm very very impressed with it and i'm not normally impressed very easily but this has been a worthwhile experience for me and it's a very good upgrade to the jeep so if you have any questions leave me a comment below and i'll try and answer them best i can but until next time take care And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.